The reading for December 6th is Psalm 72, verses 1 through 14. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the royal son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. Let the mountains bear prosperity for the people and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people and give deliverance to the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. May they fear you while the sun endures and as long as the moon Throughout all generations, may he be like rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days, may the righteous flourish and peace abound till the moon be no more. May he have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May desert tribes bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and of the coastlands render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. May all kings fall down before him. All nations serve him. For he delivers the needy when he calls. The poor and him who has no helper. He has pity on the weak and on the needy and the lives and saves the lives of the needy. From oppression and violence, he redeems their life. And precious is their blood in his sight. This is actually listed as a psalm of Solomon. Solomon wrote a few of the psalms in here, and this is one of them. And in fact, within him, you can see elements of his life of the, the rulers of Sheba as the queen of Sheba came and paid Solomon tribute. And yet, as he describes the borders, as he describes the, um, the limits of the kingdom that was to be, Solomon never knew that big of a kingdom. Solomon never really fulfilled his own psalm of the hopes of the king of Israel, the king of his people. In his day, peace did not abound. And from his rule, peace did not abound because Israel descended into civil war between the northern and the southern kingdoms. And then they were conquered in exile and led away He was not the person to fulfill his own psalm that he was writing about. We learn from Psalm 72 that even in the midst of rulers of their day and of ours, that we need hope in a better king to come, a ruler whose reign will be completely peaceful and whose reign will not have an end. That's a reading from December 6th, Psalm 72.